we'll come back so everything is running nicely we've managed to build the um, Apache PHP uh, docker image and we've run the container still running now so let's remove it what we do is docker kill and then provide the id 3c something and then we hit tab we should autocomplete kill it if we do docker base minus l we should see it now what we're going to do is uh, let's see well, let's see what we do what do we have here right what we're going to do is we're going to map a directory inside our uh, current directory apache php into map that directory or that folder or that volume now it's called volume uh, map it into the slash var slash triple w slash site uh, uh, the directory inside the container so, so what, by doing that we can access the contents of this directory from the host rather than rather than having to go inside the container but let's go inside the container first to see what the contents look like so if you remember the the, the command from last time by the way i'm going to add a new command here and say um say so this is the port mapping say minus minus name so we give the container a name let's say uh, my triple w something like that yeah and this will as the name suggests will give the container a name i can't remember what this minus minus name equals or space we'll try it and see how it goes and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually run it interactively and we're going to override the command, command, the command, docker command that runs Apache in the background we'll go over, to override it, so we can run bash. Yeah, so we can run bash. Let's hit enter. Right, so it is actually accepting uh, this minus minus name minus triple w. If I open a new tab and do docker ps, yep. So it has given a name. Where is the name here? Triple w. This should be under not under that column. It's just not wide enough. But this names should this should be under 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 names. So it has actually accepted that right. So let's have a look at slash var triple w site. As you can see, it has the index file that we copied over. If you remember from the Docker file. Now let's exit this container and do the mapping now so let's run it in the background remove the it oh no let's let's keep it like that by the way just to just to test things out and we're going to do the volume mapping using the minus v and then we provide uh, a host directory and a container directory so in the host let's use the current directory so let's say print maybe the environment variable print Work, uh, working directory so this is where, where we are and then say maybe slash site so what this is saying is just use the path to the current directory and then slash site or in fact let's remove this maybe it's a bit confusing so let's say slash home slash noreddin this is where I am slash apache php slash site and then colon now inside the container we want that site directory if you remember the path so it was slash um in fact i can still see it from the docker file slash var slash triple w slash site yeah we're going to do that to do, do that mapping hit enter oh no it's not running for some reason ah no it's because the other container is still running and yeah the name is already been used so let's just give it another name no it's not running is it it's not running so let's remove it let's remove it quickly docker rm let's remove all the docker that would docker images or oh, docker images docker container that we used before docker ps minus a yeah remove them clear the screen and then run this again so when we do the bash we go into the container, Apache now is not running. So if we do that, if we go there and refresh this, Apache is not running. It's because we've overridden this command. So we have to start Apache manually, and that's not a problem. We just go say service Apache 2 
start it should start normally and if we go back there now and do localhost 8080 you can see it's running but now it doesn't see the index uh, it doesn't see the index.php file if I go to my host now if I go to notes here notice I'm inside the container and here I'm inside the apache.php file if I do ls you can notice that it docker has created the site file yeah if I go inside site docker has created it and now I can create my index.php file in fact I can copy it over from triple w uh, notice here I have to use sudo and this is very dangerous this is one of the security problems with docker provide my sudo password and I should copy if I do ls now it's there so now if I update this I can see the hello statement right and to prove to you that I am editing the index file outside the container from my host and it's being reflected inside the container uh, what we can do is we can add more things to the index file nano index file let's say hello world and save and notice now it will be reflected inside the container we can refresh and you can see now it's doing hello world let me stop here and continue in the next part of this video